You're right guys, it's Cap Gun Tom here and I'm back for another episode of Road to Glory and today we will be continuing on with our England Euro team. Um, hopefully we will continue on with a lot of success. Anyway, uh, obviously log on and uh, we go into our first game because, you know, we don't want to make any signings too quick. We will make one signing this episode, it's quite a big one, so I hope you enjoy that. Anyway, we come up against our first team and it's a 4-4-2, dodgy, dodgy, weird, like, dead links going everywhere. I can't believe he's even got 97 chemistry, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, anyway, he actually took the lead. Uh, I just did not defend well at all here. Um, really shouldn't have, like, jumped in twice with two different players. Um to try and get the ball but uh, you know you, we all make mistakes sometimes anyway um, you know I'm not one to sit down and just uh, allow things to happen just let the game like escape me so I immediately went away from the uh, kickoff and uh, you can see here uh, some good work from Theo and then a nice pass in from Andy Carroll to put Theo through and Theo scores so a good equaliser within a couple of seconds of you know conceding and that's exactly what we want we want to see that every single time um, we actually get a penalty here um, just sidestepping past I think that was Gallas um, and uh, he took me out so you know deserve penalty uh, Scott Parker I don't know why I keep making him take them but uh, I like to make him take them because he's a good guy and uh, you can see there he puts it away well into the top of the net in the 49th minute to make it 2-1 to us so good on Scott Parker anyway uh, moving on we do actually uh, concede here um, he does a little bit of a good cross well a little bit of a good cross you can't have a little bit of a good cross a good cross uh, to Daniel Sturridge I mean I usually think the crosses are cheap but I have scored a hell of a lot of them with this team that I've been using recently so I'm not going to say anything about them but um, yeah I had been uh, pretty much on top of this guy for most of the game and it was a bit annoying that he had managed to come back so well but you can see here Andy Carroll makes an absolutely amazing run for someone without that much pace you can see like uh, coming up from behind and uh, we keep uh, passing backwards and forwards just to go around the keeper and then we actually push it past the keeper with Ashley Young to uh, you know have an empty net and an easy finish for him so that made us 3-2 into the lead with not much time to go and Ashley Young just went on a tear on his own uh, another goal there, putting it in near post. I've become addicted to doing that. It's very good because I used to have to put it onto my right and then try and finesse it into the top right. But if you just smash it into the near post, it quite often goes in. So um, you don't actually get challenged by the defender, which is really good. And you can see here, uh, again, going past the keeper and finishing well. So Ashley Young getting himself a hat-trick in probably the space of about, I don't know, 15 minutes or something. So that's pretty good going from him. So that's how the game ended. 5-2, oh no, 6-2. I forgot that he actually ended up scoring an own goal with Sturridge just because he was so frustrated. But, um, you know, I wasn't going to put that in because that was just pathetic from him and a bit childish if we're going to we're gonna go there. Anyway, we go off and make our first signing and we're going to buy Ashley Cole just because he's an absolute beast. He's probably the best uh, left back on the game, maybe on the game. I don't know. Definitely up there in the top five, top three. I'm not really sure. But he is very, very good. We put him into our team, obviously taking out Warnock. And that means that we are now a full Euro England squad. I mean, there's no one that isn't at the Euros in our squad. So uh, it's pretty good going. I mean, they're looking a bit unfit. Um, but, um, you know, you can't have it all, can you? Anyway, we go off into our next game to try Ashley uh, Cole out. We come up against this 4-3-1-2, um, like a Brazilian team, but he's playing like Wellington at centre-back and Carlos Eduardo at centre-back. He really just must not really know what he was doing because um, that is just suicide, having strikers as your centre-backs. I'm surprised he wasn't playing a striking goal, to be honest. Um, it wasn't long before he took the lead. Andy Carroll there get himself on the score sheet. And, uh, yeah, what can I say? His, center, his striker centre-backs just weren't doing it for him, I'm guessing. Um, you can see here uh, Ashley Young just simply using the wings. So much space for him. He's just got time, acres. He's going to do whatever he likes. Just a ball roll and then a finesse shot to go past the keeper. The ball roll just, you know, spreads it a bit so that the keeper's in a more difficult position for him to save it. Uh, Andy Carroll there heading in from the corner. And this guy was getting absolutely murked I'd have to say because he just really I re he really shouldn't have been playing uh, strikers as a centre back it's just, it's just suicide anyway you can see here um, some nice work from uh, Theo and Andy Carroll linking up well and then a good cross and Gerard, who gets off his first goal for the club there um, volleys it in with his left um, and uh, yeah pretty nice goal to be honest so that's how the game ended we ended up winning 4-0 which was a very good result considering he did have Zlatan Ibrahimovic sent off but that was a bit of a non-issue because it was so late in the game so um, yeah a good result nonetheless so um, we head back 
into the arena after this and we go into our next game because there's no more signings as I said there was only going to be one this episode um, and there will definitely be one more in the next episode I think you can probably all guess who it's going to be but um, yeah anyway you can see we come up against a 4-1-2-1-2 French league team and uh, yeah it looks a bit I don't know I always get a bit worried about these non-rare players because obviously they can get played very often so you don't really know who they are and uh, I know that there are some very very good non-rare players out there probably better than some of the rare ones so um, it's always a bit worrying to see them get very lucky though at the start of the game you can see that Ashley Young um, picking up a deflected ball and finishing it uh, three minutes into the game there was another goal here uh, you can see uh, Andy Carroll uh, just using his pace surprisingly he's got quite a bit of pace and uh, going past one player using his strength to push past him and then uh, finishes it well with his left foot in the 20th minute the last goal of the game going to um, I can't. I don't even know. I don't know who's going to be. I think it's probably going to be Walcott by the looks of it, or Ashley Young. There you go. Ashley Young getting the last goal of the game in the 44th minute, which actually made the guy rage quit because he just couldn't hack that he was getting beat so bad in uh, the first half. He did barely had a chance, I think. So um, it's not really surprising that he did rage quit out. It's been quite a while since I made anyone rage quit. So you mad, bro? Anyway, um, that is the end of the episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I mean, um, there will be another signing, as I said, in the next episode. And then we will be trying to do something a little bit different to make the episodes a bit more exciting from then on. So I will leave it there. Please leave a like if you could. That would be amazing. And I will see you all next time.